Hey guys, this is Cadme here from Bitten Apple TV in conjunction with It Came From The Radio. That's right, from my boy Mark. I'm here with Written Rit Ralph, as well as, I love to, I, you gotta hear her say her name, because I love the way you say it. Here's Sister Slaya Les. I'm sorry, Leslie. I'm so happy that you're here. <laughs> you really have no idea. We are here at New York City Comic Con, tearing up the place. Um, we're trying to have fun at the same time, as well as get interviews done. We even get John Carpenter, Carpenter's wife. Ah! I'm sorry. We're just we're fans. We're fans. Clean my bells over that. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys enjoy the interviews that we have lined up for you. Of course, we uh, follow up with Zindan. We have so many people that we uh, want you to kind of just get to know. Make sure you stay tuned. Be sure to click that button down there to subscribe. And welcome to New York City, baby. Woo! Well, hello there, Apple Biteys. This is your Apple Bite Rough Yeltsin. Our talking to you straight from Comic Con, and we are in conjunction with it came from the radio. We have been sent by came from the radio to find Jorge, who is working on, I'll let you, I'll let him tell you that. How you doing guys? Uh, my name is Jorge or George Medina, however you guys prefer. And uh, basically what we're doing is, this is Mass Media Studios. Mass Media Studios is a company that houses independent artists doing independent comic books, okay? Um, we have different things at the table, as you can see. It's very colorful, as I've heard. And um, what we do is we have these prints that we have uh, put together with artists that will be working in our books. We figured the best way to get the word out about our artists is if they're doing, you know, prints that are with, you know, characters that people know, people are familiar with. Right. That will get them to say, oh, wow, I know that artist. He worked on that print that I have in my house. Oh, that's the book he's working on? Let me pick that up. Sorry. It's just a way to get, you know, our books out there, you know, at, at a higher pace. Um, I'm working on different titles. I have a book called Ross 5377, which I created about 10 years ago. It's 144 pages. I don't have it at the show because it's sold out, which is a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's a very good thing. So um, I have that going on, and that's a story about a kid who lives in an orphanage way back in the future. I don't tell you when. The orphanage is actually run by these demented scientists trying to create the perfect specimen. When the boys figure out that this is going on, they decide, you know what, it's time to get the heck out of here and they plan to escape. So that's kind of like where that story takes, you know, takes form and that's where it goes. Um, I have a second book called The Adventures of Wonder Duck. Back in the days I was a huge fanatic of like the Disney Afternoon, you know, DuckTales and you know, all those, all those stories. So I decided to come up with my own character and his name was Wonder Duck. Essentially the story is about a, um, an alien planet that's at war. The scientist who's the leader of the planet is supposed to be creating these battle suits that's supposed to protect the planet but he's created them for the other side. When he's found of trees and he decides to get rid of the evidence, the evidence goes into space, smacks another duck in the head, and he becomes Wonder Duck. And that's basically where that story goes. So. After a minute, I looked through the book, it looks very Disney afternoon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going for. Hopefully not too much, but yeah, that, that's, that's where that goes. So, I mean, all of our books can be found at our website at massmediastudios.com. I'm only one part of the of the trio that is Mass Media Studios. The other guys, unfortunately, aren't here, but they also have books that they're putting together. Um, I know Aníbal Arroyo has a, a children's book called Little Steve's Closet. Uh, Jonathan has a book called Future Scope Showcase, and it has um, his. It, it's a it's a hybrid book, so he's got his comic stories and his prose because he writes short stories. Putting out short stories for a guy at a comic book convention is a little daunting, so he decided to add the two things in there so that people could be like, oh wow, that's interesting, and they would buy the book. So the book is called Future Scope Showcase, The Devil vs. the Miracle Kid. It's a very interesting book. If you guys get a chance, check it out. So in case they didn't hear you before, where can they find you and where can they find all this work? MassMediaStudios.com. That's M-A-S MediaStudios.com. All right. So we have um, Hugo here, who you introduced us to. And Hugo, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, how are you? My name is Hugo Bravo, and I'm the creator and publisher of this book, Vision Illustrated. And somewhat like mass media, where they have a collective of artists, this book has a collection of artists. And what makes it different is that it showcases the work of the artists and then the creative process on how they went ahead and did the work. And what this book tries to do is just get it, give you an insight of what the artist does as his creativity, but it's not a how-to book. And so it's strictly informational as a visual, and I'm looking to put one of these out every year, constantly making it grow, and it's an opportunity to market and promote all the artists that are in it. Currently right now we have like Donato Giancola, Jorge Farfan, Carlos Phoenix, you know, um, 
Patrick Jones, many people in the Magic the Gathering world and book covers and sci-fi fantasy art. And um, I'm myself, I'm an illustrator. You can find my work in here as well. And you can find all of this at visionillustrated.com. The book is currently out in the market. It's available on Amazon. So you're welcome to search for it there. And find us on Facebook as well. Well, there, yeah, that's very good. I didn't even have to ask you many questions. <laughs> All right, so we have one more person here at the booth because these guys are very busy from the looks of it. And um, what's your name? I am Omar Solis. All right, so Omar, w tell us a little bit about what you do. So I'm the managing director of Digital Villain Studios. Digital Villain Studios is an independent production boutique uh, with a strong interest in web, video, and emerging technologies. So one of the things that we're doing here, we you've usually come to the con to uh, interview people on, you know, just like you're doing on, on video. Uh, we're looking to move into 360 video. And uh, in addition to that, we are selling VR headsets so that people have the ability to access um, 360 videos. Um, you can find 360 videos easily on YouTube.com. Um, Facebook is um, also moving into 360 videos, and that's where uh, we're looking to move into also. So one of the things that we're doing here is we're, um, in addition to uh, promoting virtual reality, we're looking to uh, shoot 360 video, 360 photos as well, and trying to get them out to the people. That sounds like a very good production company, all you have all together there. We might, we might go and come and use you for a minute there. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. You have three distinct things here going on at this booth. You need to check this out. And as you can see, all Spanish. So if you're saying that the industry is very short on Spanish people, I think you're wrong. So until next time, this is Rafael Tavares signing off. And find these guys and support. Okay, guys, this is Cadma here from Bitten Apple TV in conjunction with the came from the radio. Uh-oh. What's that? There's trouble, guys. Oh, let's go.